A new yeah. study shows that <laughs> lead from gasoline lowered the IQ about half the U.S. population. In fact, for people born in the 60s and 70s, the IQ loss was estimated to be up to six points for really? some, more than seven Glad I don't have a car anymore. What more can you tell us yeah. about this? All right. So first of all, let me say that these are just estimates. OK, nothing concrete <laughs> here. And let me secondarily say that any exposure to lead is really not considered good. It's a neurotoxin. Mm -hmm. There could be acute effects as well as more chronic effects. This applies to people who were born before 1996, because at that time there was a ban that gasoline could contain lead. Previous, prior to 1996, gasoline actually contained lead, and so this was inhalation exposure. And as you mentioned, they measured the lead levels in millions of Americans. They found that over 50% of them had a level that was higher than the upper limit of normal, correlating with a potential loss in IQ points of about two to three points for the average population, more if you were born or when I was born in 1970. So, but here's the, here's the take home. If you're sort of in the middle to the upper range on the IQ spectrum, one to two points is probably not going to make a difference. But if you're lower on the IQ spectrum, this can make a significant difference. Mm -hmm. And more at a population level, we're talking about increased risks of dementia and heart disease and things like that. So super important. Thankfully, something was done about it. None of us likes to wake up and hear stories like this when we know that it could theoretically pertain to us, but there's nothing you can do about it now. Right. So no doctor's, so no doctor's orders. orders. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, maybe take one of those free online tests. Uh, yeah, Check exactly. out where your IQ score is at. it's going. <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.